when they tell you not to touch art it and it makes you want to touch the art even more you're like ah, ah. it's like that uh psychological effect when they tell you not to do something and you want to do it even if you had like no intention of doing not doing whatever and then someone's like don't do that and you're like well now i kind of want to Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, it's Nina Infinity, and it's Friday, yay! It's good news Friday. So we're gonna talk about some good stuff and get, you know, some positive vibes, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's what we're here to do. Balance things out, balance things out, because it's all about balance. Um, and uh, I'm happy to be here to report good news to you guys, as always. But uh, yeah, so Kai MFS is a big supporter of mine and knows that I love science. Sent me this article, jaw-dropping fossil find contains a dinosaur sitting on an entire clutch of eggs. That's so cool. Um, an international team of scientists had, has announced the discovery of an extraordinary fossilized nest in China, preserving at least eight separate dinosaurs from 70 million years ago. Um, okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is one of my favorite people right now, Dave Portnoy. Dave Portnoy, he came up from not nothing, but he, he wasn't a rich guy always um, and uh, made money and now he's, uh, He's helping people. He has the barstool funds, we, 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 which we covered in a previous episode of Infinite Health. So he's uh, been doing um, really good stuff with the barstool fund. He's helping businesses, and uh, you know, especially those affected by COVID nineteen. He's he's helping them out. We've covered this before, but now he's doing something new, which is that he is um, he is going around and reviewing pizza places uh and by leaving reviews on these pizza places especially Maybe positive ones uh he is uh, essentially helping the businesses thrive and i i really like this guy so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this for a minute so that, yeah, there's the business they, are, they should be our next guest says the 8.9 or 8.9 rating saved their business do, do, do. Okay, here we go. Okay, this story was really sweet. I, you know what? Like, you know they say like truth is stranger than fiction, or like sometimes you think to yourself like, wow, like that happened in real life. Like, you know, because you know sometimes you watch something on TV or like, you know, you you see something or you hear something and you're like, that can't have happened in real life. And then you read something like this and you're like, holy moly, uh, real life and truth is stranger than fiction. Uh, in this case, it absolutely was like a telenovela. Co-workers become BFFs, then discover they're actually biological sisters. We uh, are gonna move on to our next story here. Um, okay, so here's a story about how uh, Twitter can actually be used for a force of good in this world. <laughs> I know, shocking, right? <laughs> Shocker. Finally tonight, America Strong, the family photo, now home. Take a close look at the photo that Victoria Johnson found in a book that she bought at a used bookstore in New York City years ago. For some reason, Victoria said she wanted to hold onto that photo because she wondered about the family in the picture. Last week, after years of holding onto that photo, she decided to post it on Twitter wondering if she would learn anything more. Right away, the clues. One person writing the books are the Lincoln Library of Essential Information that helps. Another saying, the photo in the background is Dream Lake, Rocky Mountain National Park, Colorado. A so observant. That's a mid-century cane barrel back armchair. Then, Carol Howlett from Hudson, Ohio wrote, I think that's my uncle Sheldon and family. And it was. Wow. Hi, David. Tonight, Victoria and the photo. It was about helping humans connect with other humans, something that's been hard in some ways during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Victoria carefully putting it in an envelope and sending it to Richardson, Texas, to the little girl in that photo, Valerie Suttoth. She was just nine years old at the time. She's now 65. Wow. Hi, David. Valerie with her family photo, now home. She had never seen it, but she remembers the time, the new haircut. And after having lost her father, 
was the first photo with her mother's new husband, her new dad. My first impression was, that's my new haircut. Aww. And I was really, really happy because I had a new dad. Tonight, Valerie grateful to Victoria for saving that photo all these years. That is this so was sweet, right? This social media at its finest, meant to do what it is supposed to do. This is what wow. social well media is supposed to do, connect people, uh, not to wage weird political wars and stuff like that. It's supposed to connect people. Uh, but this is our featured story. Um, it is amazing bubble wrap. Artist creates masterpieces by injecting paint into bubble, each bubble. Wow, his name is, uh, I think, Brad, uh, yeah, Bradley Hart. Uh, Bradley Hart, he's got a great Instagram account. So everybody check that out. The link is in the description. Uh, he's got a lot of cool art on there and, and he's fascinating. So we're gonna watch this little news clip about him. Every drop of everything is potentially art. I'm Bradley Hart, and I make contemporary fine art by using bubble wrap. So cool. My palette has 116 colors that I choose between for each painting. Wow. I load thousands of syringes with paint in preparation to begin the injection. When that takes a, new project, a lot. First and foremost, has to start with it. That takes a lot of patience, you guys, to, to, to do something like this. That is insane amounts of patience. I've done portraits and the likes of Marilyn Monroe. Kurt Cobain, Michael Jackson, David Bowie, John Lennon, and my current portrait that I'm working on right now is Victoria's B.I.G. Wow. I do thoroughly enjoy watching people's responses as they interact with the work. They can imagine if a machine made it, but to see these thousands of bubbles and go, wait a minute, this was done by hand? Sometimes people are stopped by the fact that it's physically bubble wrap. For some people I've ruined it because they're like, no, I have to pop these bubbles. My bubbles are not poppable. <laughs> the paint dries inside. For the most part, people just are elated to get to experience and take part in something this is so that cool. they didn't think was possible. I'm in love with it. I originally this. started using the idea of bubble wrap to play with the cultural trope, whether or not you should touch art or not, after a bunch of experiences with overzealous security guards telling people not to touch art in a museum, leading oh, up to a little bit of bubble wrap. I know, right? They always that do that. Studio after my first solo exhibition in New York and having that aha moment, seeing the bubble wrap going, oh my God, this is the perfect material for the statement I wanted to make. Syringes were the natural and only way to put the paint wow. into bubble wrap. Living with multiple sclerosis and needing to be injecting myself every other day with disease-modifying medications in my thighs, I guess the concept of syringes and needles were in the back of my mind. That's so interesting that he basically uses syringes on a daily basis, like on himself. And he decided to use, you know, that as a form of like a tool to create something beautiful because I've always been freaked out by syringes too. You know, they're just, they're not associated with good things, but this, this, look at this. You can make something so beautiful with it. When I was 31, I remember the neurologist coming over to my bed in the emergency room. He just came to me and said, well, there's no reason to say this. You have MS. As far as I was concerned, my life is over. I've been very lucky and very thankful for the luck that I've been afforded. The art world just kind of enveloped me and helped lift me up. My studio wow. is an ecosystem. I repurpose and collect everything. And while I don't always know where the pieces are going to be used or go in the future, I imagine that there will always be something to do with them. To date, I've made just over 100 injection paintings. It's been really a big blessing. His Instagram account is inspired by great. so many things in the world. There's a lot more depth to it than just the bubbles. There is in, in the link in the description, first of all, you can find out his, where his Instagram is. And second of all, there is another link here where it says researching the history of bubble wrap and realizing it wasn't meant to be a, a wallpaper brought me around to this great idea. Uh, Hart told Art Insider. This is also another clip 
on YouTube. I'm not playing this one because I know that they'll claim it. So I highly recommend everyone watch this Art Insider clip as well because he, they talk about how bubble wrap was apparently originally designed to be wallpaper, uh, so, which I didn't know. So it's like, it's fascinating stuff. And uh, yeah, check out his Instagram account. He. This guy, this guy's cool, man. This guy's cool. His name is Bradley Hart. Everybody, uh, I, I just thought it'd be cool to talk about him. And uh, I love art. Uh, anyways, thank you again, everybody, for joining me today. Join us next week for another episode of Infinite Hope. And send me, as always, send me your good news I, I articles, uh, doggy kitty videos, anything positive, like old men dancing, anything positive you see around in the internet, especially in your local communities. If you see anything positive, send it my way. Tag me, Nina Seven Infinity, on Twitter so that we can share with everybody. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Have a great rest of your day, weekend, and uh, I will see you guys all next week. So have a good one. Bye.